I, uh, I kind of feel like an action figure with this. Man, honestly, this is, this is ridiculous. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Mitch, and this is the first video in my series about becoming Hunter from the Bad Batch. I like your style. And as you can see, I have all the armor pieces practically printed out. I'm missing a few, and I'm not wearing a few others because they're really uncomfortable right now. But this is my first armor I've ever made, ever. And um, it's been a, quite the learning process. And as you can see, everything is on me. Um, it's here. I have some hiccups that I need to address, but basically the purpose of this first video in this series is to show you how I rigged this. And, um, and then eventually I'll go on and uh, maybe do update videos on how I update the rigging to better suit my body and other things I've found out. But let's get right to it. All right, so here are all of the pieces for the Hunter armor. Now, you might be wondering why some things look different from how it was like five seconds ago is because when I first filmed this, I actually didn't film it and I realized I didn't film it halfway through the smoothing process. And now everything, for the most part, looks silky smooth. I mean, you got my bad paint job here, but um, everything looks really good. I'll have a video about that here shortly, but I'm just gonna go over how I attached everything and really just comes down to these two things, industrial strength Velcro and then my um, foam that is six millimeter thickness. So you're gonna see a lot of repetition of that and hot gluing. So to start off, I have my chest piece. Now this, these pieces are so awkward, I'm gonna fall down. But for here, to how I attached it, I just, um, each Velcro piece has a really sticky back to it. So I just attach that right there and right there. And this works really well. So I just have that there and I'm gonna put this down. And then I'm gonna come over here. So the back piece, um, what I did, chopped off some foam, hot glued it to the piece, attached the Velcro to it, and that was it. And it goes on really well as you just saw. I did the same thing for all sides. I tried to match each side so it's just easier to take on and off. And then for the shoulder pieces, the shoulder pieces are on this buckle right here. I usually have it on, but since I'm smoothing, I don't. And then um, for the bicep piece, when I put the back piece on first, then I buckle in the bicep pieces. And then you can see on the shoulder piece, I just have a buckle right there, just hot glued right there to it. Nothing too fancy, holds very well, uh, again. And then for the bicep piece, you guessed it, another just buckle right there, just hot glued in, and yeah, everything works well. And then for the mid piece, once again, it's just, it's a lot of repetition. So when you do this once, guys, you really are, you know how to do the rest. Once again, Velcro on the inside, and then the opposite is true for the other side. Now for the, the forearm pieces, uh, this has already been smooth, and a little piece broke off, unfortunately, because it dropped, but this fits on my arm pretty well, but needs to be a little tighter. So I got a lot of ugliness here because I haven't clipped away the hot glue, but right here you can see I just hot glue some more foam in there and then there's some way back there or like right there, boom. So that holds on to my forearm much better. Now for the thigh pieces, when I have a, a belt that uh, is not here right now, but the belt, belt once again is Velcro. These, stra I mean guys, these straps work amazing. Like they can be kind of hard to take off because of how strong they are. But really, they do hold up very well. And then for down here, let me just uh, make some room for this. So I have another attachment for the knee piece is permanently locked to it with a piece of uh, Velcro, or actually it's an elastic piece. And then for the shin piece, I have this guy right here. So right now I'm trying to figure out for the shin piece how to attach the back piece here. I have magnet holes, but I kind of went a little bit too overboard and I haven't, I just haven't, you know, I haven't figured it out for the most part. And this piece, I need to put some thick foam in there because it really does, it's not comfortable to wear this piece at all. But overall it is, um, it's just basically just everything here is Velcro. Oh, I didn't talk about that for the, for the backpack piece. All I did once again, Velcro, I just put Velcro on the back piece and on the uh, backpack. And honestly guys, it works really, really well. Like this, the backpack will not come off. Um, of course I need to further engineer the back piece because it doesn't really uh, fit as well. 
Um, so I need to do some more things with that. And plus I need to remake the back piece anyways, which I'll talk about here in a little bit. But for the most part, guys, that is a, a little overview. It's insanely easy to do. And once you do it once for like one thing, you're like, oh, okay, this rest makes really sense. All right, so that's all the Hunter pieces in a nutshell. So as you can see, it's all about just hot gunning foam onto the pieces and then attaching the Velcro onto it. And honestly, it works out pretty well. I have some hiccups though on my chest piece. I have a I have a massive um, gap because um, it fits when I have the the chest piece on only, but the issue is when I put the you know this waist piece on, the chest armor has to go over it. So because of that, the chest piece isn't wide enough. So I had to remake the back piece, which is gonna suck. But I'd rather have that looking good than having this massive hole in my um, my arm and my armor. But so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna do a quick. Um, you know montage of me putting on the armor and then I'm gonna do a test fit of, of it see how it actually holds up and the best way possible so let's get it All right, so now we're gonna test how the armor holds up and the best way to test this is outside. So let's go outside real quick. And we're gonna be jumping on some trampolines. So this should be fun. All right, and that's the Hunter armor in a nutshell. As you can see, it looks great. Uh, like I was saying a little bit earlier, I have a massive hole because this cannot, the back piece and chest piece are not long enough to fit the mid piece into it. Besides that, it looks great. It sounds really funny and everything like that. But I'm, um, you know, I'm hoping to get this done in time for MegaCon, so it's really a time crunch for me right now because MegaCon is in about three weeks but i also have a birthday weekend next week and then i have um, a bachelor party and a wedding to attend from one of my best friends so i don't have a lot of time so now i got to get onto the smoothing stage which as as you if you're if you're familiar with 3d printing you might think that's going to be the worst part but actually it's going to be painting for me because i hate painting and there's a lot of different colors going on in this so it just means more time and effort and a sharp line on the chest and de different details but actually for the smoothing part, I think I have a good solution that will speed up the smoothing process by like 100%. So hopefully I'll be making that video here soon. I should start that video today. But um, anyways, guys, if you like this content, remember to like and subscribe. And if you want to see more updates of like more, more behind the scenes, follow me on Instagram, Yosh Props. Should be linked in the bio. And until next time, guys, Yosh.